Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to Nana's Hit and Apron. It's finally cookie day. Come on, let's get started. The first cookie I'm going to make is called a caramel pretzel chocolate chip cookie. It's actually one of my favorites. Come on over. I already have everything pre-measured. Okay, this is my pretzels I've got mixed up. Uh, I took just regular pretzels. You can use gluten-free or the uh, low sodium or sodium-free if you want to. But that's one third cup of broken pretzel sticks, half a cup of the little craft uh, caramel bites or bits, and uh, some semi-sweet chocolate chips. That's half a cup of that. In here I have one egg. I've got it at room temperature. I also have, you can't see it because it's clear, I have half a teaspoon of vanilla. Now in here, let me get it over here, one fourth cup of brown sugar plus two tablespoons. Also one fourth cup of white granulated sugar plus two tablespoons. Okay, in here I have all purpose flour, one and a half cups. I also have half a teaspoon of salt. I'm using the pink Himalayan and half teaspoon of baking soda. All right, now, oh, also in here, I have a stick of butter that's at room temperature. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cream together this butter and these sugars. Yeah, you all know when you're using a stand mixer, it, it tends to get a little noisy. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour in my sugars. And we'll get this going, get it locked in. Um, start on one, your first slow, and then uh, s slowly, once it starts incorporating, slowly speed it up. And you want to get this until it's creamed in very well. Also have you a spatula handy so that you can scrape down the sides because we need all of that butter incorporated with our sugars and we want it down in there so don't scrape it along the sides of your your bowl scrape it into your mixer We're going to let this cream together and get getting smooth and then I'll be right back with you. Yeah, that's creamed in. And so we're going to go ahead and add our egg and vanilla to that and cream it even more. Mmm, that was not a good... <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. Oops. Alright, lock it back in. We're going to get this until it's incorporated. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and add our flour in a couple of tablespoons at a time. That way we don't get the big poof action happening. Now I do have a cover that goes over this where I can add my flour in a little without it uh, blowing out everywhere. You can also, if you don't have one of those, just lay like a tea towel or one of your towels, kitchen towels, over the top of your mixer. And it'll uh, keep it from floating up everywhere. Okay. Now let's turn that off and let me scoot stuff out of my way so that we're not making a huge mess so that I don't hit this and make an utter mess. <laughs> I'm going to take it off and just set it right there and I'm going to go ahead and add about half of this flour uh, mixture and uh, slowly ever so slowly start it back up and get going with it again so <laughs> keep your fingers crossed that we don't make a big old mess you know what I think I'm going to do I think I'm just going to go ahead and mix a little bit of this together first because I don't trust this cookie well 
I don't trust any of it when you go to using this flour or, or powdered sugar <laughs> in your mixer, whether it be a stand mixer or, or a hand mixer. sure does make a mess if you're not careful. So, let's do that. And now, now, let's see about mixing this together. Now I'm going to leave it running. And I'll go ahead and add the rest of this flour in a little bit at a time. Again, so that we don't get a big poofy mess. Okay. So, just like I said, I'm just going to dump like a, a teaspoon at a time or a tablespoon at a time, I mean, until I get it all in there. off a second lift it up so I can get the rest of this in there there we go all right now I'm gonna finish mixing this together once I get it mixed I'm gonna take my spatula and scrap, uh, scrape down the sides again and mix it just one more time plus I'm gonna scrape down here in the very bottom because it's got that little divot there where a lot of your, your dry ingredients will definitely get stuck. So, let's, let's shut it off. Get all this in there. And when we add our uh, chocolate chips and our caramels and, and our broken pretzels, we are going to fold that in by hand. So let's go ahead and get all this off of here, and then we'll uh, we'll unplug everything. Yep, made a mess a time or two like that, <laughs> not unplugging. So, and we'll uh, scrape that around. Yeah, you definitely want to scrape that bowl real good because you know, we need all those ingredients. Okay, now I'm just going to take some of these and, and put a handful in at a time or two <laughs> and then we're going to mix it together. We're not going to mix it, we're just going to, we're going to keep folding. Okay, let's go ahead and just dump our last bit in there. And uh, I'm going to get this mixed up. Look at there. I'm going to get it mixed up, and then we're going to go over here to the uh, other side of the counter where I've got my baking pans covered in parchment paper. Also, I have the oven preheating to 350 degrees. So let me finish getting this mixed in together, and then we'll step on over here to the other side. Okay. There's our dough, and the next thing we're going to do is, we're just going to take one of these scoops. I don't know if it's, I, I, I call it a cookie scoop, because I don't, I mean, I don't usually scoop ice cream, so. And we're just going to scoop those onto our parchment paper. If you don't have parchment paper, just spray it with a nonstick spray, or uh, butter, or you can use seal pack mats if you got them. Once we get all these on the tray, we're going to put them in the oven and bake them in the preheated 350 degree oven for 10 to 12 minutes. I 
have another pan here. Now this should make 24 cookies. And if you get more than that out of it, bonus, right? Bonus. Yeah, I mean this is the your your ultimate salty sweet. Now you can get you some um, ruffled style potato chips to put in here in place of the pretzel. That works too, in case you don't have pretzels on hand. Well, I don't think we're going to get as many out of it as I'd hoped for, but it's okay. <laughs> we still have quite a few of them, so we're good. Ooh, we're good. <laughs> All right. Now, let's see here. About scooping these down some. You know what? I've got my chocolate chips sitting over here. I might just go ahead and get them and, and put a few more uh, on these cookies. Ooh, that's going to be a big cookie right there, isn't it? Maybe I should have put that on there. But, uh, just because I think it needs it. That's really the only reason. Plus, I think it needs it. I kind of like to let people know what's in my, my cookies. So, in seeing the chocolate chips, obviously, they're going to know that those are in there. And the pretzels, you can see pretty good. I might actually put a few of the, uh, I think I'm gonna mash that one down because it's it's rather thick. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna step over here and do this on all of these. I do believe. And I'm just mashing them down just a little bit. The cookies itself, I'm just mashing them a little bit down. Yeah, let me get my. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, as far as those caramel bits, it's right here. Really take uh, a lot easier to use these than it is to use the caramel squares and cut them up. That's what we used to do with it. A few more of these over here on these. And we got plenty of pretzels. You can always add, just bump it up to Instead of half, bump it up to three-fourths if you want to. But it's just going to make your dough super thick. So, because it's already got a lot in there. I'll tell you something else if you want to put them in here. It's some walnuts. But I'm making these nut-free so that I can eat some of them. <laughs> or at least one. All right. Man. Yeah, y'all know I just threw a big handful of those in my mouth. <laughs> Let's put these in the oven. I don't like using my bottom rack because I tend to burn stuff. I really don't know if it's just all of my ovens I've had in the past or what, but I tend to burn them. We're going to let those bake for about 12 minutes. And then, well, I, I've got it set for 11 minutes on my timer. But then we'll check and see uh, what they're looking like. I'm going to keep an eye on them anyway. I want to make sure they don't kind of slide in together. So when they're finished, I'll uh, be right back. Look at that. Don't those look delicious? Okay. We're going to let them sit here and cool down. And then, uh, of course, I'm going to try one of them. <laughs> so I'm going to let them cool down in about five minutes. And then I'll be right back with you. I did uh, transfer the cookies from the pan to a cooling rack. And I let them cool completely. So, 
<laughs> Look at that. Isn't that just a pretty cookie? Those are so good. Mm. <laughs> okay. I hope you all give these cookies a try. Um, if you try them, let me know. Leave me some comments. If you have not subscribed yet, I hope you will. Click that subscription button. Give me a thumbs up. Um, so we know that you like it. And if you click the notification bell, you'll know each time we put new content on. So, this is cookie number one. Mm -hmm. There's more to follow. So you all take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye. There's how I did it. I don't like you, man, man. This I don't like using my bottom rack because uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put my timer on for 11 minutes, and then uh, 